Last time we saw the basics of NPN and PNP transistors and how to turn them on. Now we'll see the different application of transistors and how we can use them in our electronic circuit. So let's start. Most popular application for BGT is using it as a switch. This switch can be a high side or low side switch. Let's see what is a low side switch. In this case, we connect a load to the power supply and the switch is connected after the load, which is the returning path of the circuit. And in high side switching, the switch is connected right after the power supply and load is connected after that. In both cases, the switch serves the same purpose and it is up to the hardware designer where to use which type of configuration. In this video, we'll see how an NPN BGT can be used as a low side switch. ASICs are very popular for any application. ASIC means the application specific IC, which comes in smaller packages, gives better performance, reduces component count and error for the implementation. For example, if you want to use an IC which drives the LEDs, and this IC can take up 2.5 amperes current. Let's consider we are using a CCR to drive these LEDs. And we need to control these lights using a microcontroller. Well, the current is too high. We can't directly connect this circuit to the pins of microcontroller. So we have to use an external switch, which can be controlled by a controller. And we can control a BJT using a microcontroller and some resistors. Here we have to connect an BJT of low saturation VCE as a low side switch. So basically with just a small voltage as low as 5 volts we can control anything. Cool isn't it? Low side switching is very easy. We can directly provide low or high signals to turn on or off a transistor. Here we need to drive LEDs using CCR having a load current of 0.5 amperes to control the light switching, we'll use the BJT. We need to add one more current limiting resistor from the controller to the base of the transistor and one base to the ground resistor. We know 0.7 volt is sufficient to turn on a transistor, but also we need to know how much base current is required. So it depends upon the collector current, which is the load current in our application, that is. 0.5 Ampere and Beta or HFE of the transistor. This HFE is mentioned in the datasheet of the BJT. Let's consider we have chosen this BJT. The HFE of the transistor is 50. Hence, the base current can be calculated with this formula. So, around 10 mA is required to turn on this BJT. And the RB, that is base resistance, is around 400 ohms and the power dissipation of this resistor will be around only 40 milliwatts and the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor from the base to emitter or ground as a pull down resistor when BJT is turned off. So we are giving around 4 volts to the base of the transistor. In this circuit, a small signal as low as 10 milliamperes and 5 volts is sufficient to drive this 0.5 amperes of high current load. If the load current is too much, in that case, we have to use Darlington transistor, which has very high HFE. And just like that, we can control multiple loads using microcontroller and transistors. Let's see a small simulation of the circuit in LT Spice. All connections of the circuit are done as per our discussion. And this is a type of constant current regulator using LMC17. If you want to know more about it, please check the video by clicking on this card. Now we are giving a small pulse to turn on this BJT and then again it will turn off. When it turns on, the current will flow through the circuit. And when the pulse is gone, the transistor turns off and cuts off the circuit. So this is how we can use a transistor as a switch in any DC application. Well, 
we can use an NPN transistor as a high set switch and there are many applications where we can do so. But using an NPN transistor as a high set switch is not an easy job. We need to have a different switching circuitry to do so. But do you know why? If you do, then please write your answer in the comment section and we'll discuss this problem in the next video. So this is just an easy way to use an NPN BJT as a low side switch. In next video, we'll see how we can use a PNP BJT as a high side switch. Till then, stay tuned. I hope you got something from this. If you haven't, you can watch the video again. Still, if you don't, you can ask your doubts in the comment box below. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and finally, thanks for watching.